This video is going to discuss four things every first year student should know if they're considering a pre-health major. Item number one is courses. The pre-health advisor has put together some resources to help you figure out what courses you should take if you're considering pursuing a health profession. So for example, if you click over here on medicine, here are all of the courses that you need to take in order to prepare to take the MCAT and apply to med schools. What you should do is create a plan of study with your major with your academic advisor. Then you overlay these courses into your plan of study to ensure that you're taking the courses that you need for your major as well as working in these pre-med requirements. Here's a sample that a health science student made who is considering pursuing medicine. So they have their regular plan of study all laid out, but then the highlighted courses are courses that they had to add in because they eventually want to take the MCAT and apply to med schools. For other health careers besides medicine, there are these helpful links that list general course prerequisites. These professional schools are not as uniform with their prerequisite courses compared to medical school, so it's important to take notes and stay organized as you're building your plan of study and exploring. You must take ownership over your plan of study. Note that some state-supported med schools may have additional requirements, such as specific upper-level biology classes. Meet with your pre-health advisor during your sophomore year to discuss any state school-specific requirements. Item number two is GPA. Maintaining high grades is essential when considering pre-health professions. For example, of the students who applied to medical school in 2017, only 40% were accepted. Here are some more statistics based on different pre-health programs and average GPA of accepted students. Note this video is being recorded in February of 2019, and this is the most up-to-date data at this point in time. Item number three is volunteering. As soon as you feel confident in your time management as it relates to your academic performance, it is important to start to consider ways that you can engage with the community. This may take time, and it's not essential for you to engage this way in your first year, but it's good to begin to explore volunteering options and building relationships with organizations that are doing things that interest you. This type of volunteerism showcases that you care about others and are proactive about reaching out to the community. Here is a list of organizations who Drexel students have volunteered with in the past. There is no centralized application process for this kind of volunteering, so it's important to realize that this is a process that requires organization, research, applications, and at times interviews. Item number four is exploring other pre-health positions and coming up with a plan B. There are many reasons that students want to pursue a health profession, but in some cases, a student's understanding about the healthcare world is very narrow. You have familiarity with nurses and doctors, but maybe haven't explored what it means to be an occupational therapist, pharmacist, or podiatrist. Because the requirements to get accepted into med school require exceptionally high academic performance, we encourage students to explore other health careers to have a plan B. Some students say, if I can't get into med school, I'll do research. This is a default way of thinking about your future career. The actual day-to-day -day between being a researcher and a physician is wildly different. Begin to explore health careers to find career paths that truly resonate with your strengths and interests in the best way. ExploreHealthCareers.org is a great resource for students who are trying to explore different health professions. If you click on the Career Explorer, it will bring you to this webpage where they have listed all of these different health professions and a bunch of really great resources and information. Here are the two URLs for the resources that are reviewed in this video, both the pre-health resources at Steinbright and the Explore Health Careers. If you ever want to make an appointment and talk about your specific situation or your own career exploration journey, we here at Steinbright are happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one whenever you want to connect.